that is not at all uh, what should have taken place. Um, it was extremely unfortunate, and that incident should have never unfolded the way that it unfolded. After the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, agencies here in the Central Valley are responding by preparing. Naval Air Station Lemoore conducted an active shooter drill this afternoon at its annual Citadel Shield Solid Curtain exercise. Now this year it partnered with multiple local agencies to hone their skills on the Acres Elementary School site. And we want to emphasize that there were no children on campus at the time of that drill. As Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco explains, these practices are crucial for our communities. It's actually unfortunate that we even have to do this. Uh, I have kids m myself and that the fact that we have to do this every couple of months is unfortunate, but it is extremely important that we do so. It's the first time in years where Naval Forces and medics from the Naval Air Station in Lemoor, the Kings County Sheriff's Office and Negotiation Unit, the Visalia Police Department and the SWAT team all got together to practice for an active shooter drill. Very critical, very critical. Sirens were going off Wednesday afternoon in the naval base near Acres Elementary School as they exercise a threat scenario with more than 100 personnel stationed all around. Creating an opportunity for all agencies who would have to respond in case of a real life emergency to coordinate tactics together to improve during the hours long exercise. The more we do them, the more it becomes muscle memory and it's, it's, uh, it's easily uh, accessible when it's time to uh, spring into action. Why? For us to figure out um, what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, and to work on those. Not just for the school, but in any given scenario. We are entrusted by the public and our community to respond to those type of incidents, and if needed, place our lives in line um, in order to save um, the innocence. If we uh, always stay ready, uh, we never have to get ready. All agencies said they believe this training makes them stronger and more prepared in case of a real life emergency, but they hope to never have to use it. In Lemoore, I'm Myra Franco, Fox 26 News. Now, many of the agencies involved in today's exercise say that they individually do practice active shooting drills every couple of months or so. They hope to coordinate more practices as needed in the future with allied partners to increase the preparedness, they say, for all responders.